Good morning, Ruby. Good morning. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the van build series. Um, this is part two and um, so I have the seats out and I got, um, I showed a little bit of the Reflectix covers and I showed going to Home Depot. I'll put a little recap here of the last video. Okay, so it still looks really messy, but it's all vacuumed out. And now I'm going to go see about getting these like hard top containers to put back here and then a piece of plywood for like a bed platform back there. I just got this cut. It's a piece of plywood. I think it's $36. I'll come back to you with that. But And then I got these are going to be the platform to put the bed on, plus their storage. Home Depot is amazing because they do cuts if you get plywood. Here, let me show you. There's always these big saws, and you can bring your wood and just give them the dimensions. And that one, first five cuts are free, and then 50 cents after that. So you can just measure what you need of any kind of wood and they'll cut it. So I just had him do two cuts. This is gonna be the bed platform. This video I'm gonna focus on the bed platform and then also the lights, cause um, that's important to have some lighting inside for after it gets dark and then also having a place to sleep is very important. So I've been in here for um, several nights now, maybe, I don't remember, I'm not keeping track, but maybe two weeks. It is very comfortable, so I'd like to show that setup. So here we go. So here's a picture of my bed that I have. Um, you can see I've gotten some pillows and there's a throw blanket in the bedding. Um, so this is kind of the space that I'm going to go over now. In order to keep the bed up, I've used, I showed them in that last video. They're from Home Depot, they're like $6. All I've used is, are these, um, there's four of these, and I think they were six something each, and most of them are empty, and I'm not gonna take this all the way out because it's holding up the bed. So there was that piece of plywood um, that I had cut to size. I used a tape measure and measured kind of um, how wide the van was, and also how far from the back I wanted it to be. Um, it turns out it's pretty close to a full mattress, but that's what I did for the the piece of plywood. And then while I was at Home Depot, I got four of these um, and I measured the, the height of the wheel well, which was about 10 inches, a little less. And so that way the top of these um, goes over the wheel well. So this didn't get caught up on that wheel well. Um, it just lay, laid flat with, so there's one in each corner and there's the other one. So there's four of these. So that's kind of how I'm keeping my bed up. It's super simple. So if you figure out the measurements that you want for your bed to be, and then just find something, some, these are, you know, heavy duty enough containers and a thick enough piece of plywood, um, that creates a platform. And then you can do whatever, whatever for underneath the bed, for storage, um, drawers. Uh, I like having a lot of water, so I have a lot of gallons. For my mattress, this is just a memory foam. It's from Walmart. It's three inches. It's their gra the graphite one that they have there. It's a pretty decent memory foam. Uh, it came to about $100, $99, um, but it's decent. It's three inches and it's the full size. This works pretty well. It's pretty comfortable. If I, I like to sleep on my side and my, my hips kind of get um, a little sore after a while, but other than that, I do love it. So I compared the measurements that I had the plywood with the measurements of the mattress. And they're not exact. You can see it's like folding up over here, but I don't mind. And I might, I could either, oh, I didn't even think of that. Look, I could just tuck it down. <laughs> the live action here. Um, yeah, which I'm doing now. That helps get it out of the way. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty much, it's a full, a full mattress. And let's see on the other side. And then I have lots of pillows cause I like it to look like, like a couch, not just a bed, but like this is the, the hangout area. Um, so yeah, I could kind of tuck it down. You can see it, it fits pretty well. Eventually I think I would like to get another mattress and put it on top. Um, hold on, let me fix these. 
Okay, so there's the bed set up with all the pillows um, and the throw blanket. <laughs> and I will say that I got for um, this side, I've gotten a sheet set because I think it's a little cheaper. This is a, I want to say it's a twin size sheet set and I got it at Target and I think it was on sale. So between the fitted sheet, the flat sheet, there'll be a lot of sheets here that I can use and that'll be the next video. I'll talk about the window coverings again and the curtains and stuff like that. But just to give you guys kind of an idea, that's what's going to be on the inside. Um, but that'll be the next video. One thing else I wanted to mention is that when I had the Honda Pilot, I used some of the pillowcases to hold um, my sleeping bag. And so when I was getting these pillows, that was an important thing to look for, is getting pillows that have um, zippers. So right now I just have the actual pillows, but as the weather warms up and as I just, you know, if I need the extra storage space, um, I might want to put some of my my clothes or I don't know it's just good to have pillows covers that um, zip so they can be filled with clothes or extra bedding for to have more like if it gets cold or if it's warmer or whatever um, just to have options with that so when I got these pillows I made sure that they had zippers on them both so that they're washable but also so that I can fill them with um, use them as storage or like a towel or something like that. So they are just pillows right now with like regular pillow in them But um, that's something that down the road I will probably get rid of those pillows and fill them with um, Other things maybe yarn for hats or things like that. So yeah, I just wanted to point that out. So I'm thinking You know, I haven't finished my kitchen. That'll be a video I'm working on it, but I have some ideas but as I go along I have my bed set up I think the next video I'm going to talk about is kind of my window covers again and my privacy curtains, um, both for the back and the front. And um, the, the video after that will be about my kitchen build. I'm super excited. Yeah, um, I'm hoping that I get can manage. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but just I'll just say that I'm excited about my kitchen setup. And you guys know I love to cook, so... I'm really excited. And then after that, I'm excited to do some cooking. <laughs> the other thing that I didn't show, I guess I'll show it quickly, um, is, is the flooring. So I would love to put in wood floors, but I'm holding off right now because Ruby's still learning. She's pretty good. She's pretty well trained, but until she's a little bit older and really has it down, I don't want to invest a lot in the flooring um, as she's learning, you know, to pee outside. So what I have right now is just a rug. It's a washable rug and it was from Walmart and it goes under the bed, not all the way, but it goes a little bit and it covers just kind of the, the explo exposed floor. Um, but the bed, the floor is kind of bumpy. Um, here, I'll just show it quickly. You can see I just, I just put it right on top, but this is a washable rug. And so, you know, it's something I can wash, but it goes, you know, on the floor right here and it's pretty neutral and I like it. I might end up keeping it, but I would like to get a more even floor. It's hard to tell, but it bumps up and down. Um, so, but at least it's soft as of now. Okay. Uh, I, next I'm going to put in the lighting, which I did. You can see it, but I'll show how I did that. I did it the other night, but I'm going to show that next. So, <laughs> hi, <laughs> Ruby says hi too. So, um, I'm going to be putting up the lights. That's the project for this evening. And, um, I want to show you guys, these are from Amazon. I think they were $5.99 and they were actually, there's two packages. Sorry. Um, they're just copper, copper lights. Oh, she really wants to get her hands on those. And then their battery. So look for battery powered lights. I'll try to put links of stuff if anybody's interested. Um, but yeah, these are super cheap and I got two strings of these, but I only have three batteries right now. So I'm just going to put these up and that's my light source. Okay. So these are also from Amazon and they're, um, under safety safety pins and this is what I used in my Honda to keep the lights up um, and these are also like 
four dollars maybe or five dollars you get a whole bunch of them and they're safety pins but they're a little different they um they look like this like a little light bulb and so um what i do is i just open them up and then stick that part in the ceiling and then I can use this to loop the lights through. So I'm gonna do that right now and get these started. So there's these things that I'm gonna take out eventually, but for now I'm gonna use it to hold up the battery pack, which also has the switch. <laughs> these lights are really exciting to her. <laughs> That's what your toys are for, Rubes. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see how far I can get with my helper. All right, the finished result with the lighting. Starting this roofs. Yes, you. But really, we're looking at the lighting. So, there are two of these, but see the, where it turns on and off is up there, and I just have them strung around like this, and they go pretty far. Um, I think they end kind of back there. So I have another string, and I'm gonna also put I think I'll put them up there, but it'll continue. So the lighting will continue. And I might have it kind of focused over over in this area where I'm gonna be cooking a lot and then maybe over here for reading. So, but I will have them eventually meet up up there. And yeah, that's, um, those are the string lights. That's the lighting so far. And then this is just a reflection, but this turns on, but only, like for five minutes after the van's off, so. Yoo-hoo! What do you think, Rubes? You like the lights? Do you like the new lighting? What do you think, Rubes? <laughs> huh? Anyway, I'm all tucked in for the night. Um, oh, she loves chewing on my braid. <laughs> Ruby's all tucked in for the night, too. <laughs> and, um, Hope you guys are enjoying the build series so far. That's kind of the bed setup. If you enjoyed the video, do you mind giving a thumbs up? And uh, that gives me feedback so I know that you guys like this kind of video. And if you are watching for the first time, it'd be cool if you wanted to subscribe and join in the journey. Um, some amazing people here. We have a lot of fun on the lives. Um, I was blown away by the support from the last live, so thank you guys for showing up. And really showing up strong that last live with your support um i appreciate that a lot support of all kinds so um oh, uh -oh here we go she thinks my braid is her chew toy <laughs> but i'm so excited about my kitchen because that's what's coming up next the kitchen build and i'm really excited it's not done yet there's a few things i have to kind of i have to pace myself with um getting a few of the things but it's gonna be worth the wait and I'm really excited to show you guys and then I could start cooking again um, so I hope everybody has a wonderful day or night wherever you guys are and I will see you again soon on part three of the build series okay be well and um, comment and let me know what you think of the builds so far um, I love to hear your guys thoughts oh boy I gotta go save my braid now <laughs>
<laughs> We're going to play tug of war. <laughs> All right. Have a good night, you guys. Bye.